guys. I am the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, Patty Elhoff, and I would like to show you how we are going to decoupage these sneakers. These are grasshoppers. They're canvas. They started out, well, this one started out just like this one. I wanted to add some music notes to it, and I'm going to show you all of the supplies that we need and show you step by step how to decoupage your sneakers or canvas shoes. Before I get started, I did want to let you know that I am going to be putting links up so that you can find out where to purchase the napkins because I would suggest using napkins. You want some flexibility on here. And I will have some links for the other supplies. And I'm going to be adding a PayPal donate button on my site because if you find that you uh, really enjoy the videos and you just like to send me a little something or even get me a cup of coffee for showing you how to do something that you really like or love, it's always a nice gesture and I will be adding that within the next couple of days. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this project and I will tell you what you need in order to complete this. First of all, you're going to need a pair of canvas shoes. I'm going to remove the lace. You're going to need a spray bottle of water that's a very fine mist at least two brushes. I prefer these nylon brushes for this project because the canvas is a little rough. You're also going to need some plastic bags, though you can use anything to stuff inside of the sneaker. You've got to stuff this in so that when you're doing your decoupaging and you're painting, nothing gets on the inside. Whoops, nothing gets on the inside of the shoe. You are going to need some musical note napkins. You can go on over to Upcycle with Decoupage. That's my website. This is something that Plaid has come out recently, and it is a clear acrylic sealer that is very good for decoupage, and you can see that it's nice and flexible. This is dried. That's the kind of top coat you want. I used black glitter along the base, which I really think made it pop. Some E6000 glue, I'm always using that. This is low tack painter's tape, and I went with the thin kind because we're going to need to line the insides and some areas down here to get these decoupaged. Obviously, decoupage glue. And the one other thing we're going to need is gesso, and the first thing we'll do is tape the shoe up. And we're going to hide everything that we don't want to paint. You're also going to need some saran wrap and either a box cutter or a straight edge razor. And this is rubber, and gesso actually works on rubber. You can use gesso, and gesso is a thick, chalky type of paint. So one coat is going to cover your shoe. If you've already got a white canvas, you don't need to worry about using the gesso, by the way. I tore a bunch of strips of tape that are a couple of inches, a few inches long, and already went around the base of the shoe and I'm trying to get this as close as possible to this little seam here. The inside of the shoe is now taped up as well as the outside of the shoe, and we're going to paint everything but the base with gesso. But first, we're going to stuff the sneakers 
with paper bags. And I'm going to use the bristle brush to put the gesso on. Okay, I'm finished gessoing the sneaker. Some of my hands, some of the counter, and one of my dogs. <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes it does get a little sloppy over here. <laughs> and I'm going to put this aside to dry. And you can see how it covers up. Look at how well it covers. It's it's really thick and nice. This is just one coat and it will dry very quickly. Before we start to decoupage, we are going to want to separate our napkins. I'm just putting a little decoupage glue into a jar. <laughs> okay, you can see it's near the end. Sure, does not sound happy. All right, that's enough. So it'll just be a little bit easier to dip the brush into a separate jar. Separate about two or three of these napkins. And let's decoupage this tongue before we do anything else. There's a little writing right there so that I can see this is the way the net. Because to me, this looks like it's upside down because I can't read music. <laughs> so uh, apparently this is the way it goes. You can use saran wrap, or if it's easier, you can put your hand inside a baggie. Normally I would not use one with a Ziploc. I'd still go with the dollar store stuff. However, it's what I have on hand. But the idea is you don't want your skin to touch the decoupaged area. I'm just going to pull away this section for now, just this top section. And just be careful that this doesn't touch the top. You could even put a little piece of saran wrap bunched up in here. Work in sections so that your glue doesn't dry. I gessoed this part, but I do not want to decoupage this part. So a good way to avoid decoupaging it is only apply glue up to the line. I am taking a section of the napkin. I can tell this is right side up because I see writing right there. And I'm going to place just a section. And we're going to want to overlap the sneakers. So just gently place it down. Take either your saran wrap or a baggie. And lightly press the napkin down right where you just placed the glue. Whoops. Now, it doesn't look like I'm going to need the spray bottle of water for th There's our first section of the shoe. And because it's only glued right up until that one spot, you, you can tear away the excess. We'll go around and decoupage the rest of the shoe. And it's okay to cover these holes up. It's very easy when you're done to go around and just pierce holes back in them so you can put the laces in. Like you can match it up as best you can or with music notes you can kind of attach what doesn't belong there in the first place so that it looks a little more uniform. and continue all around the shoe like that. It's a good idea to make your final brush strokes go in one direction. Before I add the final top coat, now I've done my layers 
of decoupage glue over this and it's completely dry I am going to add this glue all around the base with my finger and just rub it right along the rubber and put the glitter on it. I just took a strip of this glue let's do it back here so I took a strip of this glue and I'm using such a strong glue because if you want to wear these outside you want to make sure you don't have glitter flaking off behind you <laughs> and this will hold everything then when you add the glitter it covers the whole area with the glue on it whoops out of focus and you just shake off the excess this part down here is tape so when you remove the tape which won't be hard you're going to see that nice clean line and you can use a little bit of a damp cloth if you want up here just to move away any of the little remnants of glitter but what I'm going to do is just finish putting the glitter on so that the other side looks like this side and I'm going to let the glitter dry for uh, I'll probably let it dry for about an hour so to spray this final coat on just make sure you've got your plastic bags inside to protect it start with the tongue and then I'll just spray the rest of the shoe making sure I get the glitter we'll remove all of the tape which will be very easy to remove This is a bamboo skewer and you can use this to pierce any of the holes that you have for the laces. Then you add your laces and there are a bunch of uh, YouTube videos on how to lace shoes. That sounds funny but there's, there's a crisscross weave, there's a basket weave, uh, something there's another one I can't remember what it's called the band weave or something like that but you can go on YouTube and just put in how to lace and it'll auto fill auto suggest the rest of it for you there are our music note shoes a little bit of glitter on the bottom there high gloss flexible like you'll need for shoes all because of that new Mod Podge spray and thank you so much for commenting for subscribing and my book upcycle with decoupage is available on Amazon my website is upcycle with decoupage and if you go on over there you can see some other videos and other things that I'll, um, I've been up to and Thanks again, guys. I'll be back in another week with some more cool stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs>